Hi everyone, it's Peter Zalab's Greeny Flix Adventure 8. How are you? Well, today I'm preparing to go on another adventure, a safari in Central Australia with my brother Rob. I'm going to choose one camera, one lens. two weeks we're going to be going to Lake Eyre we're going to be heading up through Fink we're going to go to the Lambert Geographic Centre of Australia near Fink in Northern Territory and we're going to go up the old um, Gann railway track right up to Alice Springs it's going to be exciting now what's unusual about this it's to do with photography I received a parcel the other week from UK. So what's so special about this particular parcel? Well, way back in those early days of photography, prior to digital, in other words, film, particularly when it regards to travel, you had to travel light. So often you would choose one type of film, one type of camera, and that's it. You would then shoot either manual or semi-automatic, and you would capture whatever you could using that apparatus. For this trip, we're going to go back to the future, back to the past, <laughs> or whatever. And I'm going to choose one camera, one lens. It's going to be digital. However, I'm going to replicate what I did 30 years ago when my wife, girlfriend at the time, and I crossed Africa by motorcycle. We had a travel light. So we had one camera, which was a Nikon camera, a all-weather type camera, and there will be a link to the picture somewhere down here. And I was using Kodachrome slide film. Now, what's so special about that? Well, there should be some Kodachrome in this package. While I was traveling around UK, what I would do is I'd take these with my slide material and I'd submit it to a photo library so that I could at least uh, sell some of these images um, and get a little bit of money to pay for our travels. So here's just an example. Let's have a closer look. Here's uh, my wife sitting on top of Mount Heron, I think in Jordan. So this was taken with 35 millimeter slide film, Kodachrome. I can't recall whether it was Kodachrome in those days, ISO or ASA 200 or 64, but one of those two. But it produced fantastic colors. That's what I'm gonna be re recreating. I wanna recreate this sort of scenario. The other interesting point about this sort of photography, I'll tell you. Taking slide film meant that you committed to the photograph. You committed to the framing that you had. You committed to the exposure that you had. So when you actually got the result back, you got back exactly what you took. So when you put this into your slide projector and you edited your photographs, chose the best um, slides, had your slideshow, then that's what you would see. So the goal is to take photographs. Um, now, the other thing, white balance. We're so used to automatic white balance now with digital photography. I'm going back to just one temperature as far as white balance is concerned, and that's going to be daylight, sunlight. Um, so I'm going to be setting my digital camera to just uh, sunlight as far as the white balance is concerned. I'm going to be choosing one ISO or ISO in this case here. I'm going to be choosing 200 ISO. That's it. And I'll be taking photographs manually, aperture and also shutter speed. So ISO is fixed, white balance is fixed. So the only variables are going to be the aperture and the shutter speed and also one lens. All these photographs that I had submitted were taken with one camera, which was a 35mm lens. So I'm going to be choosing a 35mm lens. And the f-stop, the uh, maximum 
opening on the f-stop or the speed of the lens is going to be f2 in this case can you guess the camera so i'm going compact let's have a look at the camera the big reveal here it is and the lucky camera is that i'll be taking on this safari is this yes it is a compact camera a leica m240p and the lens that i've got on is also probably appropriate for you know going back in time it's a vintage 35 millimeter f2 simicron leica lens now what i mean by vintage is it was probably manufactured back in or oh, i don't know 1970s something like that or maybe even earlier and um, when Leica was manufacturing in Canada, so that's where this particular lens was made and built. It uh, had some wear and tear on the lens. I suspect it's been pulled apart and put together again. So the, uh, the aperture marker here doesn't quite line up with the marker here, the focus marker. And um, but otherwise, uh, the lens looks pretty clean. I've taken a few shots with it, I've compared it to some of my other Leica lenses. It's not as sharp as some of the modern lenses, the Simulux um, 1.435, but it does a good job anyway. Regardless, it's going to be great using all this and. Manual exposure as far as shutter speed is concerned. Um, yes, I do have aperture priority that I can use. Aperture priority, which means it adjusts the shutter speed automatically. Um, so I can use that, uh, but then manual as well. More than likely I'll be using manual so I can just control exactly what I want. As far as the uh, ISO is gonna be, it's gonna be 200. That's it, that's all I'm taking. This will be the main camera. So when I do the trip and I'll have the movie. Yes, the video will be done on GoPro and probably the iPhone here, but the stills will be all the, the one camera. Are you excited? I'm excited. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing what sort of results I can create. So going back to old school, one lens. And let's see how whether I can capture the story, um, what happened, the scenery, whether it be landscape or portrait or night shots or whatever. Just one lens. Hmm. Anyway, um, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. I welcome your support. Do like. Um, my channel is all about photography as well as outback adventures both uh, four-wheel drive and motorcycle. I do private tours, which means that if you want to get out there and you want someone experienced to guide you, provide all the equipment, um, four-wheel drives, camping, whatever, and organize it according to your desires, then I welcome you to come and join me in one of my private tours. Uh, if you're into photography, obviously we can do a big photography experience for you as well. If you're not into photography, well, we could produce the experience anyway with regards to YouTube, a photo book and all sorts of things so that your, your, uh, your adventure can be captured in film for you to enjoy for many years to come. All right, well, come and join me on one of my tours. Otherwise, see you on the next video. And uh, during the next two weeks, I'll be on tour, which means there may be some videos coming out or not, but definitely afterwards. There will be a video on how I captured the entire story. One camera, one lens, one ISO. And um, one white balance. Anyway, see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye.